footage of Daigo actually angry. Justin's turtle style. Overcome Ralph. Now on the verge of putting Daigo down. One nothing. Okay, guys. <clears throat> oh, whoops. Hold on a minute. We're over here now. Whew. Had myself a nice little lunch break. Had a nice little Sammy. Had a banana. Had a reasonable sized bag of ranch Doritos. So clearly I'm ready to game. So. So yeah, if, if it were that simple to find the Hell Priests, how come he wasn't doing that before? I don't know. The second Hell Priest is located in the northern region of Earth. I will calibrate the portal now. Can we see the... It has several areas locked off due to power constraints. Once power has been restored, you will be able to access the entire ship. Yeah, so though I'm... <clears throat> yeah, sorry, Tess, what... Dude, was that the one you just, you skip on? I, I don't know what that means, so I can't answer that. But, good to see you too. Um, he did the tracker that he just got. And how did he find the first one? The northern region of Earth. Oh yeah. Yeah. I love how it just, it plays in the entire Doom Fortress while you're up here. It's just ambient. So you still can't explore? I thought, I thought they were going to start opening it up now. Yeah. No? Alright. I guess you have to play that- wait, what? Where are you telling me to go? Oh, this door opens, alright. No one knew he was coming? Who, the Doom Slayer? Gotta put the thing in the thing. Yeah. Here comes thing. I energy levels rising. Re-establishing power to core and supplementary systems. I mostly just want to know what the Doom Slayer was up to in between 2016 and Eternal. It's um, the ending of 2016 implies that he was in stasis again for an amount of time. Um, but I'm curious how he got out and what he did. In the meantime, I assume kill demons. I'm gonna go ahead and assume he was killing demons. <clears throat> hey, crank that! Thanks for the resub, or thanks for the the prime sub. Excuse me. Can do. Oh yeah, Arbalest isn't finished yet. Oh, the music doesn't loop. Okay. Oh! Ha! I don't think I ever spent... I don't think I ever triggered a uh, custom song and then spent long enough in the Doom Fortress to to really find out. Ah! The Fortress of Doom! Great! Hopefully this will answer some of my questions. Uh, he was able to sneak up on everyone. That's how we got the first dude so easily. Um, there are only three total, and you, you start by killing the first one, right? Um, I thought Hayden just teleported him to a random place. It doesn't say where he sent you. Um, presumably he left you in hell, or yeah, teleported you somewhere else. Uh, did you get the gamma points for purchasing a locked Slayer Gate? Or punching a locked Slayer Gate? Yes. I... Yes. I did this. I did the gate. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Crank, that. <clears throat> and then they were like, oh shit, and started hiding. I, I know that that happened after the first one. I'm just like, if he could, if he could teleport right to the first one, why did he not do that until the events of Eternal started? Presumably because he couldn't, so that's kind of what I'm curious about. Oh, when does Yahweh Hands come out of retirement? I'm waiting for the sun to go down. Um, <clears throat> I want to play a couple more levels in Doom Eternal. And uh, then I will, if there's time... Dang it, this thing keeps coming up. It's so sticky. Oh, shit. Well, that's all of it then. Um, huh. Maybe I just leave that off. I mean, it looks nice, though. Maybe I just gotta bend it back. Yeah, maybe that'll work. Sorry, there's this, there's this like, sticky decal that, that goes on my Beatmania controller that has been has kept peeling up. Um, yes! Proto Nuts. That's what we're here to do, man! We're here to analyze that lore! Yes, my dude! Yes, my droog. Sorry, guys. Ugh, just want to stick that fucker down again. 
Uh, do you recommend this game so far? I absolutely do. Allow me to regale you with some lore. Oops, I hit a series of very bad uh, buttons there. There we go. What rig is Doom Guy running? We'll see in just a second. <sighs> the Fortress of Doom is a command station used by the Sentinels for military operations. ESR dating suggests that the structure was built during the reign of King Danak and spectral analysis of the central ener or the sentinel energy stru structure bleh, used to power the various systems confirms this theory. While the rock and metal structure of this vessel is undoubtedly Argenta design, the castle's subsystems, navigation, gravitational centrifuge, and life support are of maker origin, suggesting a design collaboration between the two species. Propulsion is notably absent as it is not required. The fortress manipulates space through an unknown process involving sentinel energy. However, there is no indication that any of the systems were designed for maker use. The access ways, control panels, and living quarters have all been designed for Argenta dimensions so that it can be assumed that the massive structure was made exclusively for Argenta warfare, likely as a flag station of the Night Sentinel's military forces. We have records of the Night Sentinels visiting many inhabited planets in their local quadrant, the extent of their empire is still being researched, and this fortress is likely a remnant of what was, much, what was a much larger fleet. Signature, not structure. Ah, I'm gonna miss a. I'm gonna miss a word here and there. There's our. There's <sighs> Skippy. I always forget the name. Lucky. Ah, who cares? It doesn't matter. Tracy. It's something like that. Have you seen assorted magazines and books the Slayer is lying around? Yeah. And he's got like a millstone for I guess sharpening his doom blade. It looks like he's got a, a punching rock, so that when he gets mad, he just punches it. <laughs> Daisy, thank you. God. It seems like it's such a... It should be such an, a memorable name, but I don't... I just don't. Is that like a little model of the ship that was in 2016? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Big gamer here. It's got that split keyboard. Look at all these buttons. Look at all these... So many keyboards. Let's have some nice takoyaki chips and fruit chews. Chewy, juicy, fruity candy. Hmm. Oh, there's a little uh, dope fish on there. Nice. Oh, daisy picks. Yeah. Shotgun portraits. Rip and tear. Mp3. Best kills comp. Mp4. Why is it a disc? Doom guy's been editing his own uh, YouTube videos, I guess. But yeah. There's a PC case. They had... Did they make that? They Surely they made that, right? Yeah, takoyaki is delicious. I don't even know what a... Like, to, to me, takoyaki is more... More texture than flavor? Oh, Kako cakes sound pretty good. <laughs> Just got... The Doom soundtrack. Oh yeah. So wait, if you get all the... Uh, if you get all the discs, does that unlock the full original Doom? I guess I'll find out. And then yeah, he's got his... His axes. Oh yeah, these are all really good too. The stupid books over here. To kill a mockingbird... A Mocking Demon, Demon Farm, The Ripping Tree, Eat, Rip, Tear. <laughs> uh, hey, wait, that's the bobblehead from the first game. How to Comb Your Mustache. Jeez. Or it's Software Games. Uh, I love it. I love it. Oh, okay. This is how you look at, uh, models. Got it. Are discs in the levels like other collectibles? Yeah, they are. Oh, it's the Emil Crate from, uh, 2016. Nice. Huh. Oh, yeah, there's an Argent Cell collector. We're on crystals now. And I guess that's his old Praetor suit. He found a better one. It's weird that they actually acknowledge that 
his old suit is still there, he's just not using it. Or he's upgrading it, I don't know. Yeah, discs are the cheat codes. But I guess if you get 14, you can install Doom on your, your Doom, Doom PC. Your Doom rig. Oh, right. Gotta go take a spin in the Ripatorium. It's got no weights, how does he work out? By ripping demons in half. Huh. So I guess that's like the suit of armor that is held here. Jeez. Maybe in the DLC you'll get to use it. That'd be cool. Alright, gotta boop the Ripatorium. Also, just love that there's a screen that literally says Ripatorium. In your space castle. God, this game is absurd. This game is absurd and it's beautiful. Oh yeah, yeah, the 2016 armor is in the game. Um, or rather, more literally than, than even in that room. Um. Fuck. Fuck. Man. Punish the demons in the prison. Demons punished. Yeah, I'm in the protonuts. I'm using the uh, the Doomicorn armor. Yeah, it's kind of a neat little little perk that uh, when you unlock skins, if you put them on, you see them in like all the cutscenes and stuff, and it's just your character model, so you can. So you can see he's got a little pink glove down there. It, uh, I'll admit it takes some of the bite out of some of the cutscenes, because uh, yeah, Doom Doom Man is a. Uh, Slightly less imposing when he's got little little uh, unicorn wings on, but that's okay. He makes it work for him. Doom Slayer reminded me of a meme where a weak person on the computer asking for advice now. Oh yeah, the three buff dudes. I love that meme. It's such a wholesome meme. We're all about wholesome memes. Oh, maybe it is the same icon. I thought the little Praetor coins had a different logo on them than the one he used to kill, or used when he killed the other priest, but maybe not. Got one whole point. Gosh, what to spend it on? Oh, yeah, let's grab. Mod switching is pretty important too. Yeah, j -Bad, that's fair. Doomslayer is secure enough in, in his murderous masculinity to wear whatever he wants. Maybe want the exploration stuff? Eh, that's, yeah, that's a good point. I will, I will have more, um, suit points in short order. Operating inside the Hellified Zones, please be advised. More Doom Slayer sightings have been coming in. Arc leadership do not recommend any attempts to communicate with the Slayer directly. Please avoid all contact with Doom Guy at this time. While it is clear that the Slayer is an enemy of the challenge, it is unclear if he could also be a threat to civilians. He's not, unless they want him to not murder demons. That never works out. Yeah. Let's see here. Let's start. Uh, Yayo? Oh boy. Yayo? That's a lot of that's a lot of heavy heavy uh, diphthongs and consonants in your name, but uh, yeah, this game looks so so gorgeous. Led by the elusive hell priest Dag Renak, the cultists operate from a remote facility located in the Arctic tundra. As for as overseer, Renak exerts absolute control over the facility and its legion of possessed acolytes. 
Instrumental in sowing the seeds of the cultist uprising, Renock worked briefly with Olivia Pierce at the Mars facility before departing to Earth with orders to prepare the groundwork for the imminent hell invasion. <clears throat> A recently declassified UAC biography for Renak indicates that he is a surviving member of the original Order of the Dague. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, I ate. So every time I eat, it's like all this like snot that's always just sitting in my sinuses kind of runs down into my face. And then I just get really phlegmy for like 20 minutes. It's really frustrating. Maybe everyone does that. Or maybe I just need to like flush out my face more, but I don't know how to do it. Anyway, he now sir. <clears throat> See, it's already happening. He now serves the forces of hell and is rumored to have personal knowledge of the Doomslayer, suggesting a shared history between the two. Wielding total power over the cultists under his supervision, he uses his growing influence to advance the consumption and corruption of Earth. Built over the ruins of an ancient Argenta settlement, the cultist facility has been designed as both a gothic monument to the ancient architecture and a state-of-the-art science facility. So wait, are they saying there were Argenta structures on Earth? <laughs> pressure washer up the nostrils yeah i also eat really fast when i'm taking a break from streaming too which doesn't help i probably don't chew enough because i, I want to get back at it <sighs> tablets and memory banks found at the settlement indicate that the order of the dig discovered earth millennia ago and found it to be populated with powerful primeval beasts dinosaurs i guess they named these creatures Agadons, due to their similar similarity to the mythic cyclopean giant from argent Dinner's past the agadian Huh. Lore! <clears throat> interesting. Quite interesting. I see. Guys, the lore drops are not disappointing. Hey! 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 I don't know what's going on. I'm just kind of here for the vibe. I hear that, man. Well, I'm glad I'm glad we can have a good vibe for you. I'm basically, yeah, poking through and reading all the lore and trying to piece out the the hidden uh, universe and world building behind the new Doom games. Because there's a lot there. <clears throat> that was some bad grammar. Huh? How dare you? Vega is never bad. Vega is never wrong. Uh... Dr. Dr. Dabadoo, you don't need to thank me for for streaming. Ow. Thank you for watching. If you had a Ooh, hello. Oh, that's just the way to get over here. Alright. Okay. Of that one. Weak. Uh somebody's asking what you can do with the toys. They unlock where in this facility. Um I cannot pinpoint his exact location at this time. They unlock uh models that you can view on your doom ship also. There's a really creepy looking dope fish down here. Just beat the game myself and it was great. Have you tried any of the master levels? Not yet, no. You can shoot the lawn chairs off of evidence. <laughs> Well, that's not what you meant, but I love it. Uh, I'm not sure if they'd be backseating, but shoot the two mines over the edge here. It would be a little bit, yeah. But that's okay. Wait, that was supposed to trigger something. Why didn't anything happen? Oh, there. Oh, 
Also, what is that? What is that? Why is it so big and why is it here? Also, Jesus Christ. So maybe these... Maybe these ancient creatures aren't the dinosaurs. Maybe they are actually, like... Giant, evil creatures. Jesus Christ. Maybe not so evil. Who knows, man? That's what... Hey, that's what we're here to find out. We are but explorers. Here to learn. Here to learn and be humbled with knowledge. Knowledge. Um, I know that there's a way to get down here, but I don't remember what it is. Might have to come back later. A mass relay? Or like for Mass Effect? It does kind of look like that. It's like a BFG 3000. How you doing, Steph? Thumbs up? Good to hear it. Or see it, I guess. You're right into the titles? Yeah, Solo Samurai. Just got done peeking at a few of those. They're pretty cheeky. Love it. These look suspicious. Seems more arcadey than 2016 Doom with the one-ups and things. It is. It is. I don't mind that, but it is a tonal shift. I think it's really just the game embracing its, its heritage more. God. I know that there's a way down. Hold on. Fifty Shades of Slay. God. So, how do we get down? You gotta do something to open up that, that door. <clears throat> so then, uh, no, Proto Nuts, there are no one-ups in Ultra Nightmare mode. There's a different mode for that called Extra Life mode. So, it is possible to play... I left the entrance is how you open the gate. Okay. Oh, there it is, yeah. Hey, JC. Um, yeah, so the way... That's that's right. The way that this works... <clears throat> is there's extra life mode, where it's basically Ultra Nightmare, except you can get lives, and when you run out of lives, it's over. Then there's Ultra Nightmare, <clears throat> where all the lives turn into... Ah, oh, fuck, it's timed. Turn into armor, and that's it. And you just can't... You can't die. If you die, you have to start all the way over. Yeah, it's bad. Oh, wait! Oh, shit! The, um... Yeah, it was down here. Check the map for places you haven't been. I mean, yeah, that, that usually works. Um, that'll tell you if there's something around. It doesn't necessarily tell you exactly how to get it. <clears throat> Which I think is the sort of the best... The best uh, middle ground between... Telling you exactly where everything is, and then just kind of giving you hints about where things are. Hmm. Oh, they don't let you do that. Okay. That reminds me, there's lore I haven't picked up or haven't read. Oh man, we got we got we got humbled by this room. Would you have a trial to nightmare? Of course. Yeah, showstopper. I did it. Uh, I beat the original tw or I beat Doom 2016 of Ultra Nightmare, but I need to learn the game a little bit better first before I start dipping into that. Uh, I thought there was a. Is it for the cultist? Sort of sentinels, demons. Yeah, I thought the cultist was its own. I swear I saw a lore pop up about that, but maybe not. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe not. Eh? It's not showing anything. Okay, never mind. <clears throat> yeah, that big lore has big words. Read that lore. Also, man, how long has it been since in a video game the bad guy just gets on the radio to talk some shit? Like, welcome to my evil lair, player. How long will you survive, I wonder? <laughs> I love it. Ow. There we go. The Slayer has arrived. All mortal challenged personnel, please be advised. <laughs> Read and learn until it is done. Exactly. 
You... The Doomslayer's biceps are not filled with muscle, they're filled with lore. That's how he actually got so strong. I know y'all were curious about that. Yeah, this room sucks. This room sucks! Oh, first, first Mancubus, yeah. Sweet. Oh, Edgy, Eddie the Dog and Grouse Chimp? Thank you guys. Uh, Eddie, thank you for the sub, and Grouse, thank you for the resub. The Mancubus, hulking behemoth of the demon world, bears notable difference from those of its kind first encountered by the UAC expedition team on Mars. Unlike its brethren, which were a naturally occurring armored carapace. God. So to turn me up. Uh, this variation shows clear signs of pre-existing man-made modifications. Armor plating augmentation to its exterior and a sophisticated arm-mounted weapon system indicate a clear intent to upgrade and weaponize the fighting capacity of the Mancubus, whose heavy stature and resilience make it a formidable threat in battle. <laughs> Succubus, but man, that's Incubus. These are dead. Oh, oh, oh. Shit, shit, shit! I'm dead. Oh, there's shit, there's two. I'm out of, fuck! Oh! See, like... God. Yeah, Proto Nuts. I'm excited for, uh, for invasions, too. That's gonna be real fun. It's, a, it's about time. It's about time we got more Dark Souls. They keep making mancubuses during the invasion. Did they try to counter the invasion with their own man made demons? Uh, yeah, Cyclog. That, that, that is lore confirmed. The UAC has this nasty habit of thinking they can beat demons with other demons. So, yeah, they kept doing that. Um, <clears throat> and then some of them got out. Uh, and the problem is now, too, that after the incident on Mars, there were active cults on Earth that were being uh, manipulated by the Dagic priests. Oh, Green Warbler, thank you. Have a good night, and yes, stay safe. Wash your hands, stay away from people, all that, all that good stuff. So yeah, the, the good old UAC just can't stop itself. Hmm, probably have to come to there from the other side. It would seem would seem to be the case. It's Aliens the movie all over again? Yeah. And that's it's just a tale as old as time, really. The human race has this nasty habit of thinking it can control things that it doesn't understand. Shit. Because we're great. Yup. Can we see he's always been shown as kind of culty? I... yeah. I mean, yeah, to the degree that they... that the UAC is lampooning mega corporations of today. But they are literally culty in 2016 because of the satanic influence, or the demonic influence, I should say. Um, due to, like, the... Uh, relics and shit they find on, uh, on the surface of Mars. Get closer! God, no one cares! That's the thing, I think- I think the damage- Oh wow, they actually- they got him. Weird. I 
don't think I've ever seen that before. That was awesome. Still can't get that sick one up though. Don't miss that extra life? Yeah, I gotta get back to it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the quick scope was not intentional, but thank you. I'll take the compliment. I remember there being some shit down here. Pretty sure. Oh yeah, there's armor. How are you supposed to get that? How are you supposed to get that armor? How much fun was uh, Drunk Doom with Bruce and Lana? It was awesome, dude. That was a, that was a ton of fun. That's uh. <clears throat> Is this game as good as the 2016 one? I would say it's better. I think uh. <clears throat> I think it kind of very accurately understood all the strengths of 2016 and leaned into them while maybe while trimming out some of the things that objectively kind of didn't really gel ultimately with with the whole package. I think this game's phenomenal. Yeah, and Steph was was an amazing help. I'm very lucky to have her in my life. Uh, because I would be a million times in a worse spot if she weren't around to help me out when I'm too too proud to ask for it. Oh, 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 oh. oh that's gotta be from over here though. Um, yeah, Alana had, had s entire rooms of this game memorized that I didn't even know about, jeez. Everyone's either playing Doom or Animal Crossing. That's the world, baby. I will, uh, I will be mixing it up shortly. Wait, I'll be playing something that's neither of those things. Oh, right. Uh, whatever. Give me all your armor. I, l man, that's so cool that just, like, with a well-placed flame belch and, like, grenade, you can just refill your armor. That looks like a larger version of the, uh, the keys that you get. What is your opinion of the extra lives mechanic now that you've had experience with the game? I think it's I think it's really important to not just completely frustrate people on Nightmare. I think it's it's a great stopgap to kind of take take some of the sting away from trying harder difficulties. Because I also feel like that's where the game shines the best. So I think it's it's a great way to sort of lubricate people into into stepping up their game. I think it also uh, opens up a cool game mode. I'm excited to try the game on an extra lives mode. Um, before going all going balls out and trying to uh, trying to beat it on Ultra Nightmare, so I think it's a smart choice, and you can you don't have to use them. It's kind of where where my head goes with it. I do think some people balk at the video gaminess of it, which is weird. It kind of like I know that uh, there's a lot of people who sort of want to believe that games it helps casuals. I mean, that's. That word is meaningless when it comes to this game. No, proto nuts. I think you're being I think you're being almost like absurdly reductive if if you're complaining about that helping out casuals. How about proto nuts? You beat this game on nightmare and then come back and say that. Let let let's agree let's agree to, to leave it there. I think I think that's some. First of all, why wouldn't you want more people to play the game? So you're like helping the casual shit is is. Maybe maybe approaching some uh, some not so great uh, gatekeeping territory, but also this game is fucking hard even with lives. So I don't think there's any casual casualness about it. I think it's the game is is fundamentally harder than 2016. Uh, so I think even with lives, the game is still harder than 2016. So I don't I think it actually uh, I think it functions as a pretty important. Um, Pretty important balancing aspect. And you know what? If you don't want to be... If you don't want to be a, a little casual, you don't have to pick them up. Or you can play Ultra Nightmare from the get-go. If you want to if you want to be that pro about it. And again, let me know how long you stick with that. Shit, man. That's, that's a lot. That's a lot of mans. Fuck. An Ultra Nightmare just ah falling does not kill you instantly. It, it still does that in Ultra Nightmare, but that's that's still bad. That is still bad. 
That's I don't know. That like the whole casual aspect is is weird. It's weird to me. People people like to people act like difficulty isn't 100% arbitrary from the drop because it is. This is like this is games are made up by people and people decide how hard they are. It's not like uh it's not like Dark Souls existed in some temple, and then people found it, and then used it as a holy relic that tested the, the clout of gamers. Human beings at FromSoft decided exactly how much, uh, HP you would have. Uh, Jolly Good Fellow, I am not doing centered guns right now, because I'm not, I'm not playing in that mode yet, if that makes sense, so. I'm just, I'm still playing it in, in uh, in normal having fun mode. <laughs> but I, I will get there eventually, I promise. Also, this is a lore run, and I, you'll notice my webcam is also not centered, so, uh, gotta wait. Ah! Man, I turned the fan on, man. I'm getting sweaty. <clears throat> What's the Mancupus' weak point after the guns? I don't know. I think you just you shoot it to death. I don't know that it has one. I can't tell if, like, shooting things in the head does more damage. I don't know. Uh, I thought 2016 was too hard for me personally. I struggle with SPS games due to a disability, though. Uh, well, yeah, Eternal has some uh, has some other things in it too. They, uh, I think they definitely wanted people to just finish the game and have fun with it. It tells you a couple times if you uh, if you die a lot that um, you can turn on cheat codes and still progress. So <clears throat> even if you do have a disability and, and struggle with FPS games. I do think that they were they were cool enough to to include tools that allow players to enjoy the game um, on whatever terms they find difficult for them. <clears throat> oh, you made your ramen way too spicy. Oh, well, at least you're gonna savor it longer. <clears throat> you ever gonna stream Animal Crossing? Yeah, I'm planning to do it today. Um, also, Proto, sorry man, I, d I didn't mean to put you on blast so much. It's just uh, I I fundamentally believe this game is still extremely difficult, even with the lives. I feel like the lives is is a way to kind of ratchet the difficulty back down a little bit. But even with the lives, it's still it's still a it's still an intense mark above 2016, which I don't know that anyone was accusing of being a, a casual game, so Oh Proto Nuts, please don't be an ass man. I was trying to apologize. If you want to be a cunt about it calling me triggered, dude fuck you. You had a chance to be chill, man. <clears throat> so, please don't be like that. I'm trying to pave things over, and if you don't want to, then we can leave it there. Not trying to be, but come on. Ah. <sighs> No, it's cool. Don't worry about it. Hmm. Shockwave, Stagger State. <sighs> My one recharges on death. Does it recharge in different lives, though? I don't know. Oh, boy. Yeah. Well, so now, now we're in a weird situation, right? Uh, I'm trying to de-escalate, but the rest of... rest of chat... Protonuts, you voiced an opinion, but it was a pretty it was a pretty dumb opinion. <laughs> but that's okay, that's your opinion. But you're not you're not excused. Uh, you're not excused from the ramifications of that, which is me saying that's kind of a not a good opinion, and the rest of chat agreeing that it's not a great opinion. So my advice to you would be to we just let it go. You know? Also when I said, hey man, sorry about that, then you were like, you got triggered? Come on. Come on, dog. So there's your come on. Uh, so, chat, don't... So here's the thing now. If everyone else antagonizes, it's just, it's just gonna make things worse, right? So... Let's see. Glory kill from further away... God, glory kill from further away is pretty good. Although, hmm. I'm gonna do this. Go for this. We'll go with health. Damn, got a ch 
chainsaw something. I got a rip and tear. Also, where's this where's this one up? I keep seeing it on the map, but oh I guess it's behind a wall or something. What's up, Silver Runner? Where's Candle Can? I uh my desk is a kind of a mess at the moment. So uh no candle can because I don't have a spot for it. What skin are you using? It is the uh the Doomicorn skin when you get for linking your shit to Amazon. Oh yeah, that's right. I gotta go through there. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. Geralt's shirt is off, I promise you. Through here. Uh, uh, Tuggy, is there room for replayability with differing builds? At least in the early game, maybe? Um, there's definitely room for replayability! Uh, because they... Wait, what? Oh, that's this is not where they want me to go. Uh, because they, uh, I mean, there's plenty of challenge left in the game if you want to try the different modes. Uh, they, oh, hello. They offer master levels and stuff, which are remixes of existing levels, which I haven't played. Um, they are going to be adding DLC, campaign DLC. Uh, at least they said as much. So, uh, I think there's plenty of extended play in it. Also, there's, there's a battle mode, which is the multiplayer that I haven't even touched yet. How do I get that sick life? Where are you, life? Sweet, sweet life. You down here? Eh? Damn! Huh. Interesting. Yeah, and invasions eventually. I don't- Oh, shit! I hate these things so much! I hate you! Oh. Let's see that sick whiplash lore, hold on. Ah. It's not gonna be easy when they don't freeze. There's a place to drop down. Alright, I'll have to check it out in just a second. Fuck! Damn! I'm surrounded. Dude! God, I hate these guys. I hate them. <sighs> ethics on pirating? I mean, pirating is pretty shitty no matter what. There's really no ethics about it. Um, if you don't pay for it, don't play it. I know people will be like, oh. The publisher did exactly what they worded a tweet, a tweet wrong, so now I'm justified to steal the game. And... Oh man. People, people can think that as long as they've never worked on anything in their life. They've never had anyone steal their shit. <laughs> Just looked at the Doom of Corn skin. That'd be the Slayer armor, but with corn kernels on it for some reason. I mean, that sounds... that sounds better. That would have been awesome. Yeah. Crap. Pirating isn't what it used to be. Yeah. It got... I mean, it's... All of the actual aggravations about buying retail games is gone. You don't have to go to a store. You don't have to deal with... Largely, you don't have to deal with really abrasive DRM. Um, also, like... And again, this this is from another era, but like piracy legitimately was murdering PC games in the mid '90s and late '90s because it was really easy to copy them. How do I find that life? Rarg! Who stole your shit? I mean, it's the internet, man. It happens. People would steal our shit at Funhouse and remonetize it and things like that. Also, yeah, there's there's the good old games has a 30 day return policy now. I'm gonna try to jump around. I feel like oh huh oh. Jesus Christ, there's another one of these? Gross. Okay. Oh yeah, sorry, DRM Digital Rights Management. Um, basically anti-piracy software. Look over the edge more. Yeah, I got there. I got it eventually. <clears throat> um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I read a lot of threads from some, let's say some more core, more enthusiast, more deep 
uh, gamers who really love not paying for things. And it is fascinating to see them try to find any little thing where they can see like, there, that's it. I can steal it now because they said this or they did this or the game's bad or like, it's, it's aggravating when people just want to steal shit and then they use any kind of like random justification they can find. Yeah, CD keys, uh, before that it was like, uh, they would give you a manual and then ask you to put in words from the manual. Uh, I did forget I got the rocket launcher. I actually did, I was just thinking that. The rationale being that, hey, there's only one manual. You can copy the game, but you can't copy the man- Oh, wait, yeah, you can copy the manual. And then they had these, like, cipher discs. They got all... Physical, physical DRM back in the day. Our anti-copy protection was, was something, something else. My, uh... New GOG refunds are horrible. Oh, have you tried to use them? Uh, Shawnee D, what's what's the deal with that? Is Ellie still on lockdown? Uh, I mean, lockdown is a strong term. It's n it's not like martial law or anything, but yeah, people are very strongly encouraged to stay indoors and not com not gather communally. It, it it went into effect a few hours after our uh, our drunk eternal thing concluded. So we were technically within the spirit of of the the law. There's an argument against DRM when it depends on a central server that will eventually go offline. Yeah. The fact- and that- that is- that is a bummer that a lot of games can get lost to time if, uh, on- active services are not maintained. Usually, not all of the time, but usually, there is, uh... Oh, there we go. And- and the, truly, like, the- the PC community has been outstanding in this regard. That for games like that, usually they will even, they'll reverse engineer and get their own community services up and running to keep those games accessible and active, but, uh, like, you know, WoW Classic, uh, servers and things like that. But, you know, then a comp whenever a company hears about it and they think in any way it might damage their profits, then it gets really messy. Ooh, thank God. Absolutely this. You can't play the game completely and still get a full refund? Oh, I mean, that's... That's valid, right? Also, how would they know if you played it or not? Is it based on achievements or something? That's a whack- that's a wacky way to do DRM. Huh? Yeah. I feel like there's a switch I gotta punch. Game streaming like Stadia will in theory destroy DRM altogether because you'll never own or have the game data locally anyway. That's true. And, uh, oh, there we go. And, uh, developers and publishers will have complete, down to, like, the second information about what you're playing, where, and when, and how. So, yes. Uh, and that's another reason I'm not super fan of Stadia, is that it completely removes the ability of the community to do anything. Um, they give tickets in Santa Clara if you're out for non-essential reasons. Yeah. It's, uh, it's enforceable by LAPD at this point. Yeah. Apparently they will scoop you up. So I guess in that case it is kind of locked down. Hmm. Like I said, drink verification can to continue as I was knocking back a ice cold refreshing Coca-Cola cherry vanilla zero. Uh, yeah, I I really don't want that. Um, I'm not a fan of that at all. It is it, it truly is. Uh, Money is weak. Your hate must match his will. Only then will you be truly safe. It's just, uh, it's just corporations trying to own, own everything start to finish, which is, which fucking sucks. I, I feel like, more than anything, that's what I find aggravating about, uh, Stadia, uh, is that it's, it's like an active attempt to take the community aspect out of, out of gaming and gaming culture. Whoa. Aw, oh, man. I guess I didn't get the, uh, didn't get the blood punch off in time. There are so many games that, like, I guess theoretically Google would keep them all working via streaming so nobody would have to worry about it, but I don't believe that that's true. There are games that, like, aren't going to be financially viable to invest time or money to keep working. And those are the games that, through passion and, and, and emotional connection, people in the community will invest time and effort into 
reverse engineering or, or developing mods for. So, I don't like it. Luckily, like, at this point, Google hasn't presented a compelling enough uh, value proposition to make anybody want it. Which is nice. You know, when, when they're on fire, you can't tell when they're glory killable or not. Actually, I guess you kind of can. God damn! I'm, uh, I'm, I'm dicking it. I'm dicking it right now. Also, gotta remember I have a rocket launcher. I don't know, the rocket launcher is not super good in this game. Maybe it has a utility, I just don't understand, but it doesn't really do that much damage. And it's slow. You have to wait for the rockets to get there, which is kind of a problem sometimes. Fuck! It does self-damage, which is not great. And enemies just, just run up on you so fucking fast that I feel like self-damage is always a concern with a rocket launcher. It's good at taking out minions, but that's usually not the problem. Fuck. Shit. God damn. Whew. Burn through all my lives. What's the go-to weapon in this one? I mean, the super shotgun, just because it has the meat hook, which is super, super important. God oh, damn it. Yeah, that's an F. Fuck. Are you not dead yet? Okay. Oh, we're on the sneaky boys. Oh, right. I didn't read that. Ah. Fuck. Shit. I forgot I was on that one. God, the, the gore system is crazy. Hey, best host. Welcome back. All right, whatever. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. I got uh, I got the mastery for the shotgun now. Got to work on that. Why isn't he glory killable? What the? Ah. Face itches. Can't be touching it, but I just did. I just washed my hands, though, so. Claiming immunity. I get immunity from everything, that's the rule. Oh, shit. That wasn't the, that wasn't the Arachnodemon. God, this music, though. Shit. Ah, did not want that to happen like that. Shit. Shit! Huh? Okay. We'll talk about online services. This is video games. Oh no! Ain't no rails on this. Oh! Yeah, welcome to Doom Eternal. Fuck. Shit. I need a tiny boy to chainsaw. Nope, you're not tiny. There's some tiny boys. Shit. Smooth shots. Ooh. Fuck! God, he's after my ass. Yeah. 
No! Woo! Are nuts, man. If I switch to being an ASMR, I don't think I can do that. Seems like a dang. Oh, yeah, a lore. That's right. Of course, of course, lore. There. Snakey boys. Whiplash. There you are. You suck. You suck. You're an ass. Look at you. A scavenger of the hellscape, the whiplash creature was first discovered by UAC expedition teams in the black desert of the Sanctum Wastelands. These elusive serpentine demons move with great speed and agility. They are capable of striking from a great distance with retractable bladed whips concealed within their forearms. This particular demon breed became an object of great interest to the UAC engineers on Earth. While attempts to capture live specimens of this nimble and unpredictable creature proved to be exceptionally dangerous. <coughs> After successfully acquiring living specimens, researchers implanted cybernetic augmentations designed to enhance Whiplash's innate strength and lethality. Ugh. Why do you keep doing that? Stop giving them cyber enhancements. They're demons already. <laughs> oh. You heading out, JC? Alright, good luck. And maybe your, uh... May your car be protected in, the, in these trying times. Oh. Oh, you finished Ori 2? Man. I have not put enough time into that game. I really want to get back to it. This is, this is it. The deluge has begun. Yeah, UAC is big dumb. <laughs> kind of. I mean, I know that they're like... Canonically, they're under demonic control. So, yeah. They're gonna use all the brilliance of human minds to cram more upgrades into demons, but... Sorry, yes, mortally challenged. Can't have any demons getting offended up in up in here. <laughs> Car-based PTSD. Oh god, these levels are huge too. I want to say like even the smallest level in Eternal is bigger than the biggest level in in 2016. Yeah. Oh, I didn't read. Wait, you're right. I didn't read the rocket launcher. Thank you. Thank you. Forged from the metal smelting pots of the Golgothan Enclave, the Pain Giver is a weapon of pure malice devised for a single purpose, to enact suffering upon the weak. A tool of insidious intent, it was not by mortal design that the Pain Giver was conceived. The cultist engineers of Golgotha, as acolytes of the unholy and all-powerful will of the Hell Priest Renak, or bestowed its vision, scribes, to Renok's dark premonition. With great clarity did the Paingiver reveal itself to the shared consciousness of the Golgothan acolytes, and with fervor and religious zealotry did they set themselves towards its manifestation, toiling without rest until the Paingiver was created. Holy crap. That is metal as shit. Damn, damn, damn. Yeah, I noticed that, like, the pain giver is not a human weapon. It's got, like, a skull on it and a chain on the top. Looks like something out of the game Painkiller. Jeez. And I guess it fires rockets, but it's kind of more like it just has a concentrated ball of, of pain energy. <laughs> Locked up and ready to go. God, I had like five lives at one point. <laughs> They're all gone. Your salvation lies in his destruction. The myth of the Slayer's strength is exposed now to us. Can you see it, brothers? He has lost the resolve to continue. Eat his soul. I must survive this. Protect me in my time of need, and you will secure your place in the new world. DJ Birth Control. Holy shit. <laughs> Thank you for the tier 2 sub. Um, unfortunately, Raven, uh, I think, was, was primarily behind uh, Call of Duty Warzone. 
but yeah, a lot of that, a lot of that DNA is here for sure. It shoots balls of pure argent energy. Oh, that would be interesting. Yeah, you might be right. Oh, well, that was a little unnecessary, but kill all the people, you'll get something for it. I guess they are the the legions of. Oh, okay, that's cool. Didn't quite need it, but it's good to have anyway. I'm one level ahead of you. My first playthrough, and it rules. Oh, yeah, it's uh, it's a lot of fun. Sorry, I saw someone. Uh, somebody was gonna play 2016 on Ultra Nightmare. That's awesome. I had a lot of fun uh, doing that. It's um. That's that great kind of challenge that seems so unattainable, and then once you start to dig into it, you start to see see yourself improve and your super shotgun is nearby. Oh relic from your past. The priests have kept it hidden from you in this remote location. Really squishy floor here. Oh yeah. That's the memories of being very drunk uh, are slowly coming back to me. Why no weapon centered on screen? Uh, because I'm i I'm doing a lore playthrough. Um and, you know, I'm just... I'll get there eventually. I got plenty of, uh, plenty of playthroughs of this game left. Don't need to... Need to go full Doom right away. Also, because I'm not using the webcam centered. Because I want the subtitles to be seen because we're doing a lore playthrough. Yes! The, uh, the... Well, yeah. The BFG is in this game. Of course it is. This is like the, the grinder pits. It's just... An entire pit of muck and death. Oh yeah, those guys. Cue balls. Former UAC engineers. These malformed zombies were rendered inept during the war for Earth. Their bodies are now a disturbing, disturbing fusion of body, bone, and barrel. Yeah, my best toast. Slayer's trying his bet. Or sorry, the. What the fuck? Yeah, the, the priest is absolutely like, fuck, 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 kill him, kill him, please, God! That's great. That's the uh, the other half of having the uh, the enemy, like, get on the horn and taunt you directly. Is it sets himself up to be a really, a really fun dude to kill by the end of it. Ah! Fuck. Fuck! I hate you, I hate you. Do I have my blood punch? Yeah, I do, okay. That's something, then. That was pretty close. I don't think I can cube all those guys. Ah, fuck! Oh, there's two. There's two. There we go. Blood jet shooting up the wall. Yeah, this this game really spares, again, spares no effort in being as as absurd and metal as it can possibly be in every conceivable way. Yeah, it's that again. the 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 theme that I kept coming back to when I thought about reviewing it and sort of trying to summarize the the philosophy of the game is that they just completely abandon any kind of restraint, um, and then you get environments like a spike walled flame jet blood pit. Um, that presumably has some kind of physical function, but, uh... Man, you'll be back for that? Okay. Yeah, I was just... Taking a look around. Yeah, so... 
Snake demons are the fucking worst. They're real bad. They're, they're one of the more interesting and difficult enemies in the game because when they move, their p profile gets really small. So it's really hard to hit them while they're slithering around and then they knock back. So you can't stand close to them. Um, so they'll bop, they'll bop you around, which can really throw off your flow. Uh, their whip will push you back along the wave of it and then their melee attacks are real, real bad. So you can't get close to them. They're really small when they're moving. And they have a shot, like a shockingly big health pool, so you gotta like you gotta hit them pretty hard. Um, and they they ah, they start throwing it, throwing them at you like they're gonna run out too at a certain point. Ah. Ah. There. This feels like a trap. Shockingly, no? Okay. I feel like a loot magnet. I feel like a loot magnet might actually be the most important upgrade. Uh. Yeah, ice bombs. Ice bombs is how you deal with that. For sure. Um, especially if you get the upgrades that make demons weaker when you ice bomb them, but, uh. If your ice bomb's on cooldown, you're in trouble. Ah. Ah. Dude! Fuck. Damn. I got bopped. They laughed. They laughed at me. Yeah, I've seen them angry climb walls. <laughs> it does everything so mad. It's great. Oh, I have upgrades. Thank you for reminding me. Oh, I don't know that any of these are all that vital. Arsenal, though. Yeah, I can get something on remote detonation. Ah, flare. Eh. Should probably save up so I can start working on the mastery for either one of these. You're supposed to kill with the cue balls? Yeah, I know. I know that. Like, that's the... That's the setup, obviously. Fuck. Forgot Shield Man was there. Fuck you, Shield Man. You are not allowed to respawn, shield man. <laughs> okay. I feel like the upgrades for the weapons have been met. They're not as... They're not as transformative as they were in 2016. But, uh... The masteries are pretty good, depending on which ones they are, so I feel like it's it's more in service of getting the masteries that you, you get through the upgrades. That's kind of how it feels to me. Shield Johnston? Yeah. Hello, I'm Shield Johnston. The scary thing is that none of those are protected, so if you're playing Ultra Nightmare and you die in an optional challenge, you die. That's it. Um, you know, you lose lives and all that stuff, so... Yeah! Damn it! That happens to me quite a bit, of, like, dashing into a wall and then not really sticking to it. Which is, as far as I'm concerned, probably the one thing that is kind of mechanically busted about Eternal. But the platforming is actually... actually kind of broken sometimes. Yeah, the, the scope is really important. Uh, most of the upgrades you get at the beginning of the game are, are super vital, mostly because they come at a time when you don't have that much going on.
happens when you jump right up against the wall. Yeah? I was never able to find a consistent reason. I feel like a lot of the times I'm not jumping, I'm trying to dash. I'll dash into the wall, thinking that it will make me stick to it, because that's what they said it does, and then I'll just bonk off of it and fall. But, uh... I, yeah, I'll, I'll try experimenting with that a little more. I kind of got into the habit of just mashing melee, or like, the, the stick to wall button a couple of times every time I was close to a, a thing. You boost against the wall, not jump? Yeah, I know. I, I do that. I'll boost against it and the Doomslayer will just kind of flop off, so... I, I swear that is that is what I'm doing most of the time. And I just did not find, uh... Yeah. Crazy legs, exactly. It, it, it sticks, like, 90% of the time. And that 10% is when you fall and you're like, what did I do? How? That's what I meant to say? Oh. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. It feels like a... Hey, Steph. Come on. What? I'm gonna make salsa. Oh? Chili. Oh? Oh, that's fine. There's nothing more metal than blending. Are Chopping with like furious... Yeah. I'm probably gonna finish this level and then... Uh, depending on the time, might might go to Beat Mania. Oh, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start my town. How long does it take to kind of start your village and just kind of do the intro stuff? Um, as long as you're not like me and spending 45 minutes picking beads. It's not that long. Okay. But... Fuck that shit! I'm not letting my island have a bunch of weeds on it! Well, you gotta, like a, you gotta like keep loser. logging in. Gotta keep logging in every day and pick all those weeds. I, well, I have been. I have so I have to go back in and do some more things. Because, I mean, now my house is built. I've started pushing things to the edge. Uh, by tomorrow, Blathers will have his new museum, so I can have that set up. I'm just trying to get enough fucking nook miles so that I can get the organizer so I can actually carry more shit. And it's it's a real long slog. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. you need 5,000 fucking nook miles. That fucking son of a bitch with his gut. Now he's like, I'm telling you, he's like Delta. Oh, you gotta like, you gotta spend some bills, but now you also gotta have miles. Fucking asshole. Can't just use bills. It's, it's a loyalty shit. program. I know, whatever. It's He's to like, make you feel celebrated as a consumer. I, do I? I don't know. Do dude. I? I certainly don't. That he needs to give more, as opposed to being like, "Hey, you know, it'd be great for you to have a house. It'll only cost you ninety-eight thousand bells." And you're like, "I just started this game. I just sold a fucking shell for a hundred and fifty bells." Yeah. Like, fuck. You gotta I be did. scraping up those shells. You gotta start planting some fruit trees. Well, so get, you, get yourself a little pears, money-making orchard. One of my pear trees is growing faster than the other pear trees. Okay. I should have flowers blossoming by tomorrow because I planted them around my little house, little red flowers. Can, of course. And I picked a black roof. Yeah. Okay. Um, Maybe you can plant a money tree again. I don't know if I don't know if this one has that. I paid. I paid two. I've already paid. Made my first house payment though. I paid two thousand dollars. Two thousand bells. Excuse me. To to Mr. Nook so that every time I go up to him he's not just like so you made a payment like god fuck you Jesus that right. look I get it I get it man you're like a big fat cat and you're coming around here and you're just like oh I've got money <laughs> like coughs with hundred dollar bell bills <laughs> throws them away burns them yeah they're infected now. I know look I know he's like the Jeff Bezos of the like animal crossing world He's just got billions of bells. Jumps into them. Probably like Scrooge McDuck when he's at home. <laughs> well, he's a he's a raccoon, right? Is he? Yeah, I think he is. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. He likes to hoard shiny things. He's like, Ooh. <laughs> yes, yes, I'll I will gift you things. By the way, it will only cost you thirty percent more as my friend. That's a good friend discount. <sighs> All right, well, I'm gonna start. Okay. And I will warn you before uh, I start blinking. Alright, not a big deal. <sighs> Chat, you can you can hear the construction sounds of salsa. Nothing's more demonic than chips and salsa, right? Hell yeah. Like doing chores? No. Do you like working? No. Do you like paying bills? No. What if you could do them for some raccoon dude? You son of a bitch, I'm in. <laughs> Class Warfare and Animal Crossing when? 
I mean, as long as the... As long as we get a new couch, doesn't matter. Oh, we would have started playing Animal Crossing, but you chose my stream first. Well, thank you. Or do you not have a setup where you can do both? Can I have some salsa? No, you may not. If only they could gamify real life like that. A lot of people have tried. Um, I mean, like, rewards programs are like that. Any loyalty program you have with, like, your credit card to get bonus points. Yeah. As long as the bells flow freely, the town will be complacent. As long as there's new chairs in the store, these idiot, these idiot uh, animals will continue dancing to my tune. Okay. Uh, yeah, that that sounds... Oh, I bought a barbecue. That's what was in the store today. Oh. And I was like, hell yeah! I put that shit on the beach. I had like two little haystacks that I left out there for like weekends. Yeah. So I could have like a fucking like beach party barbecue. Okay. After I made one of my paintings, I did something and they gave me a little jacket that's a little hard on me. So okay. I'm wearing that instead of my Ola t shirt. Okay. So I put Ola t shirts in school. But I'm waiting for the coolest shit. And now I'm going to take them all. I need to find more fucking ore so that they can build their school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already gave them all their hardwood and softwood. I had tons of that. There's not enough rocks on my fucking islands. They're getting them ore. I think I need to give them like 20 pieces of ore. I'm like, cut! Really? Really? You don't have your own fucking vendors? Jesus. I'm gonna do this for you. I'm gonna get a fucking discount. I won't. No, I won't of course not. Discount. Hell no. I'd be upset about it. Like, I want a discount. They're not gonna give me one. Hand. Eh, so evil. Hello, uh... Slam Zalid. Zalid? How you doing? They should have added a Doom shirt, I agree. Stiff has more about- sworn more about Animal Crossing you have about Doom Eternal? Yeah. It fits, right? That game is, uh, that game is definitely a lot harsher on the sensibilities. <laughs> on Animal Crossing it's a little too close to home, yeah. Play this damn game to get away from it! Yeah, so here's- here's, I think, the plan. Uh, I will... Finish this level. Without dying, of course. And then, uh, switch over to Animal Crossing, start my village. Don't kill him this time? That seems fair. He's just a good demon. Wait, there's no such thing. That, that seems canonically incorrect. He has kids? <laughs> See, uh, also I love how in slow motion, and this is one of the cooler parts. The super shotgun sounds like the chain pulling up a uh, a, uh, a roller coaster. And that can't be on accident. Uh, I love it. It's such a cool idea. It's such a cool little... little uh... Okay, now we can start to do some, some fun shit. Namely, like... This is like one of my favorite moves is to like bang and then backdash. If I had the dash, I would I would have done it. But like so many enemies will uh, hit you with a really powerful melee if you're too close to them. So Yeah, the meat hook is is a super cool mechanical thing. I wanted to not oh, that was a waste. I wanted to not have to rely on it for the longest time. I just wanted to play like classic doom, but this game will not let you do that. That's what I wanted. Because you can do so many things while you're meat hooking. Like you can you can throw grenades, you can blood punch. It's it's fantastic. God. Oh, I thought I thought he was dead. Yeah, Ilyondo, this is on this is on nightmare. I just think of Scorpion. Yeah, it's kind of a reverse scorpion. I'm coming over there.
of these. Coming for you. Blah, blah, blah. So yeah, the meat hook op opens up so many opportunities. Uh, once you start comboing all your shit, which you kind of have to do by the time the game's over. It's a good way to get a lot of damage on Mancubuses. And you can like strafe around in the air, so fucking good. The meat hook really does open up so many options. It's been about four hours watching you play God of War yesterday. Well, thank you for doing that. Hopefully it was four hours well spent. My, uh... Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, George. Truly, truly my greatest ambition with plus posting that stuff to YouTube is that it just helps somebody kill some time. Because <laughs> that's how I kind of use that stuff. How do you feel about making my butthole moist? Well, it's probably better than it being dry, right? Alright, did he cutie? Yeah. When I was doing the last fight on... Uh, ultra violence. The loading screen sort of being like, hey, remember, set an alarmer. You could turn it on. I'm like, no. Can you move re right and left with the meat hook or can you swing up and down while hooking a demon? That's a good question. I don't think you can swing up and down, but I'll try it. I never, I don't think I ever tried holding forward or back, which I assume would be up and down. You can jump out of it, um, which is kind of cool. And if you jump at the right time, if you let the meat hook go while you're coming in and jump, you'll like, you'll catapult. So you could theoretically like hop over and swing around, uh, depending on your sensitivity, I guess. Aegis, thank you so much for the resub. Attention, all cultist base personnel. Please destroy the slayer. The priest yeah. must survive. Please. The priest must survive. Please kill him. Cool. I've never seen that one before. Yeah. Also, wipe your butt. We. This is this is clean butthole chat. I like how the gun doesn't sound that cool when they're shooting it. It just gets extra sci-fi zippy zap sounds when you kill demons with it. Which makes sense. <gasps> Yo, is that a secret? I'm gonna go get that secret. Oh, maybe I'm not. Maybe I am. Yay! He's so cute. There's just a monster closet of those dudes waiting in case you picked up their toy. <laughs> this game is too good to resist. Oh, Cyber Demon ate my bunny. Well, I mean, your username is uh, it's pretty pretty on brand for this game, huh? We eat nasty tonight. Uh, is it any kind of night? Then yes, we are. Is it a day of the week that ends in day? Then I believe ass is on the menu. I'm showing you a game in for uh, quite an quite an amount. I, uh, I intended to stream for a long time today because I've been off. I've been off the streams lately. Had some other shit going on, but most of that shit is done. Clean hole is the goal. Glad to hear it. Again, that's that's what we're all about in this chat. That's what we're all about. Hey, Kerner kid, how you doing? Yeah, eating ass is a lifestyle. It isn't. I feel like it's not so much anymore. Eating ass was kind of a 2018 thing. I feel like. Turn has nothing to do with asses or fecal matter at all. Yeah, you can eat ass as much as you want. Let's get it, millennials. I don't think there was a reason for me to do that. I did it. Yeah, it's just... Is there really nothing down there? It really seems like there should be. Well, fine then. Oh, I was just going backwards. See, like, I didn't stick to the wall. Maybe because my dash just fell a little bit short? Maybe that's what's happening. My dashes are landing in a really awkward phase where, like... It feels like they should be sticking, but they're just a teensy bit short. Everything I'm seeing, uh, gameplay and complaint-wise, seems like this is another one of those Dark Souls easy mode debates. The game was changed with actual mechanics and an increase in difficulty in mind. People seem to not like it for those reasons, and they have not figured out that you need to use your entire toolkit. Ah, you mean- okay, yeah, that makes sense. I get that. There's a little friction around that. I experienced it. I tried playing it- I tried playing most of the campaign like it was Doom 2016, and 
Um, it got to the point where that just was not working anymore. And those fights were a little frustrating. Sometimes frustration can be a motivational, motivational factor, though. So it kind of went back to the... Oh, thank God. Meat hook. Yes, yes, yes. Kind of went back to, to kind of re-examine my tools, started experimenting with some things. I think specifically, yeah, using the meat hook a lot and using the blood punch a lot. Damn it. Dash wasn't recovered. Um, really, really helped me turn a corner on some of the fights I was having a lot of difficulty with. But I do think that's kind of the thing is... I have noticed, it's weird, I have noticed that, like, people, people who are proud of their ability to play games, um, like, feel like once they've, once they've acquired a certain amount of skill that they shouldn't have to, like, relearn it or, or adapt it. So, like, that's, the Souls games, mechanically, were, there were some differences in design with the monsters in the world and stuff like that, but mechanically... Largely pretty similar. Um, and I feel like people got really good at those kinds of games, and they probably would have been pretty frustrated. Uh, myself included, if any of those Souls games differed wildly in its mechanics, which I guess is why they rebranded things like Sekiro and Bloodborne to kind of give them the veneer of being fresh and new. That may be a little a little hyper-reductive, though. Shit. Shit! Dude! Brrr. See, that's the problem with those guys. If you're close to them, oh my god. They just, they eviscerate you. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, Sekiro was really nice. I wonder, though, if that were called Dark Souls 4, you know? Would, would there have been a, a contingent of people who were like, I don't like this because it's different. I... I I don't I actually don't think so. I do think though that there are that like maybe when it comes to arena shooting, there are people who have been playing them a lot longer and maybe a little more maybe set in their ways. I don't know where I'm going with this. Do you die in Doom? No, I didn't see any death. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> Riots. Gamers pulling out their teeth in in inexplicable rage. Yeah, I think confusion. I agree. I, I really don't think there's that many people. I, I can see some people being like, this is different and I don't I don't quite like it. I'm like, yeah, okay. I can see that. A smaller ammo pool is 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 kind of a, kind of a thing. I can see people Fuck! Are you not dead yet? You're not dead yet! How are you not dead? Dude! Didn't die, though. Jeez, that's the that's the other confusing thing is sometimes it feels like the whiplashes just get a lot of health. Like a lot more than you would expect. See like it's like it went in to stick, but then it didn't stick. Oh, that's just confusing. People a lot of people surely would have been pissed. There were people who were pissed with Sekiro purely because it was a FromSoft game that was not in the style of Dark Souls. Oh, were there? Huh. I I don't know. I just played the game and loved it. <laughs> That's kind of what I like doing these days. I don't really... I don't need to be in the middle of the discourse about shit. Uh, a lot of gamer discourse, frankly, is, is not very constructive or... Or even all that celebratory of games, which is kind of my biggest problem with it. Alright, let me think about this. What do I need to do? Got a freeze bomb, which is going to buy me some time. Uh, I can... I can charge up my heat blast, which is going to give me a little bit more... Okay. Fucking god damn, get killed! Holy shit! How do they have so much health? The thing I want out of Dark Souls 4 is a Dark Souls or uh, Loveless design. Just like a more kind of serpentine, uh, mysterious world. This is the room I mentioned earlier. Yeah, this one's rough, man. Uh, spawn timers are no joke. I mean, they, yeah, they spawn instantly, right? Okay, so there's two explosives in here. Uh, I'll try and freezing. Oh, 
fuck, man. Hmm. I was like, maybe I can rush the Mancubus, but he's got he's got um like a melee mechanic too. If you get close to him, he does that ground pound, and then that hurts a lot. <laughs> Thank you, Cobalt Witch. I'm getting pretty good at combing my hair. Uh, I, yeah, let me. Tr I can try and rush, rush the Mancubus. We'll see. Can you kite them from the hall where you came from? I don't think so. Fuck. Shit! Please. You gotta reload faster, my dude. Fucking shit. Also, like the glory kills start taking too long. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Uh, sorry. Somebody said, Ilyano, your advice was actually on point about kiting them back. Uh, that ended up, that was the correct solution. <sighs> Being stuck in a tiny room with two whiplashes is not good. How's Doom so far? I, I really, really like it. Uh, it only counts as a death if you say it's a death. And I would never, ever say that. So we're done. We're good. <laughs> uh, everything's good. Set up the barrel before you pop the nest. Ah, Big Moose, that would have been a much better idea, too. I don't know, it's... I also just generally don't like talking about... Like, like, gamer reactionism, because really it's just like... It ends up being like tw 10 or 20 people max that get bent out of shape about one small thing. And then other people that like going, huh, gamers, right? We'll look at that and be like, ah, there you go. All gamers are crazy. And it, I don't know, it's just, it's so much like, it's so much extrapolating and like, and stereotyping on both sides. That's just, that's just the nature of online discourse for the most part. So, uh, to point at like, to point at people being like, how are these, pe how dare they be mad at Doom? It's like, well, there's, a, there's a, 10,000 times more people who are playing it and having fun. And those are the people I would rather think about and interact with. Uh, yeah. Performance stick hit with the new patch? Really? Huh. Wait, for, for Doom? There was a patch? Opinions bashing opinions does the way of the internet? Yeah, man, I'm getting... I gotta, I gotta be honest, I'm, I'm getting exhausted. Of, like, just straw manning and being like, Look at these guys! And I see everyone do it. Uh, that, that is one of the truly the both sides kind of shit. Is that everyone loves feeling superior to other groups. Oh, the face is always pointed at you? Ow. No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> okay, this one's just pointed down for some reason. Oh, yeah. I need to, I need to check out Damon X Machina. And a new Armored Core would be pretty cool. Armored Core's never coming back? Probably not. I mean, that was a Square Enix property, wasn't it? I feel like the only way Armored Core comes back is as a mobile game. One more question mark left, and it's got to be the key, and that's got to be around here somewhere. What the hell is that? Oh yeah, that's the that's one of the wraiths. Yeah, I don't know why it's here. Can my mech gameplay with Mech Warrior Online? I heard some people complaining about that. That like they went a little too hard on the monetization or something. Did you? Could you? Uh... Fuck. Oh, all right. Whoa, he was coming in hot. Oh, I wasn't attached to the whoa. All right. 
That was weird. Found some hot speed tech there, I guess. I think the physics goes weird when you're in slow motion and side strafing. <laughs> oh, from software, made the Armored Core games. Bandai Namco and some other companies published Armored Core though. Oh, okay. I didn't know it was, it was a Bamco thing. Doom Slayer slinging himself around like Spider Man. Yeah, physics. Do it again. Uh, I need something to latch onto, but sure. Huh. Oh, right, yeah. Siles, hey! Thanks for the resub. Two years, dude! Yeah, this is this is Nightmare Run. Not Ultra Nightmare, not Extra Life Nightmare. Are you growing tired, Celia? We will break your will yet. Do you think so? Oh, I don't think so. Apparently she was streaming it on high one night and had to put it to low in the next without getting little stutters. Oh. Huh. Stutters could be the result of a lot of different things, uh, especially on PC, but... Oh! Dashing into enemies hurts them? I did not know that. Didn't quite have the, uh, the real estate to try to do it again here. Yeah, just regular old normal nightmare. We've all been there. We've all had that nightmare. Hey! Get down here! Hey! Hey! Get off my doom roof! Oh! Shit. I like the idea of Doomslayer with a broom trying to swat an arachnotron down from the roof. You get down here! Hey! I feel like the adoring fan from Oblivion towards Lawdog, because I do and I'm okay with it. <laughs> it'll it'll pass. Also, you could also be the adoring fan from Mass Effect. There's that too. Probably something happens if you dash into pinkies. Not sure what. Saw it in the temp. Maybe it just staggers them. I don't know if you blood punch a pinky, you can actually kill it from the front, which is is really nice. That's an interesting, interesting little little goodie. Little, little top gamer tip. So that yeah, that dash worked properly. Uh. <laughs> Stabbing his little angry hands into this wall. Oh, you're yelling at me about Talos? That works too. I feel like... Oh, it's in the hallway ahead. Okay. Eh. Oh, right, right. Punch this bad boy off. This is a pretty metal set piece too. It's like I'm a hunt I'm 99.9% .9 sure this is one of the wraiths. One of the bad boys that uh crashed into Argenta but has been clearly like strung up and and uh what's the word? Like that thing you do with frogs? So you don't you can't access the can access door now? Oh. Oh, wait, really? There's no way around? You can just jump over it. I appreciate your concern, but... I thought it was a Doom haunter Hunter? Uh, oh, it might be. Okay, fair. Yeah, it could be. Um, I guess I was thinking about in the end of Doom 2016. Uh, when you saw those wraiths kind of crucified, basically. It kind of looked like that. But, um... Man, that's a good point. Oh, so this gate wasn't there before? That doesn't... 
can't get it now? What? They didn't, uh... I feel like with most of the game, they didn't uh, go out of their way to put points of no return in there. Yeah, I feel like you have to be able to. Dissected, that's it. Um, how much did we raise? Well, I haven't gone back and really looked over the, the metrics from my chat. And, I mean, no one else... No one else really... Uh, like, I'm, I'm not going to ask other people what their channels did. That's kind of part of it, is that we all did it on our own channels. So that we'd all get... Uh, we'd all get something out of it, you know? Now that we're largely all independent. Huh. Oh, you have to go under, it looks like. Go low, yeah. Uh, I think it's down here. I-I-R-C. Yeah. Yeah, that was one of the things that I wasn't super hot on uh, in Doom 2016, is that there were secrets that you could miss, and then uh, there would be points of no return. So it's like if you just missed it and then saw it and you were like, ah, and then that's it. You just don't get it. You have to play the whole level over again. Not only does this game seem to not have that, almost as like a, a point of philosophy, but they also have fast travel when you get to the end of the level, so you can click back whenever you want. Good. 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 Uh, I, um, let me see if I can buy an upgrade. I need, I need dash. Like, I need these two. These two are so good. I need them. I need them. Show sentinel crystals. Oh! Oh! That's cool. So you can kind of coordinate back and forth. <sighs> Maybe it's not a normal Doom Hunter. Uh, pointed out it's way bigger than the one you have to fight, so maybe it's special. Yeah, could be, um... It, it really looks like one of the Wraiths, but it might not be. That would be... Um, it seems like... May yeah, maybe it's it's the experiments that led to the creation of the Doom Hunter. I can see that being a thing. Uh, I want it. Yeah, duck mode. I'm still on max difficulty. Hey, we're going. No time to explain. Dude! No chill. Arrgh! Fuck. See, like, 2016 AI, AI would not have been there. The, the, uh, the Mancubus would have just kind of chased after you and followed you into that tunnel. Yeah, the uh, the mobility is is so so key. The the ability to like yank yourself across the stage, um, like this, super super vital because that gets you away from a horde of demons that are trying to murder you real bad. Fuck. Shit, man. Oh yeah, these guys. Oh, that's that's another thing. Is those guys looking ah? Those guys look an awful lot like imps, and they're not imps. And if you try to fight them like imps, you'll get killed. Um, I can't stalkers. I think they're called the teleporty boys. <sighs> so there's some more. Cluster frag is really good for tight groups like this. Uh, yeah, if I had it, <laughs> if I had it, I would use. It. Uh, but it, it has not been unlocked yet. Um, let me see. Oh wait, if I rolled back the save, does that mean the... Prowler, yeah. These guys. A creature of darkness, the Prowler haunt, hunts huh, from the shadows, preferring stealth and concealment to open conflict. Imbued with a parietal infravision, vision, the Prowler is able to see that which is unseen to the naked eye. Known among the Sentinels as the Night Stalker, the Prowler's preternatural sense of sight uh, sense of sight makes it a lethal hunter, capable of tracking its prey even in the pitchest black of dark. Believed to be peripherally descended to the lesser imp brooding, 
Oh, lesser imp rooting. The prowler is rarely seen in groups, forsaking pack hunting for the precision of the solitary pursuit. And there you go. Now we know. Hey, Callum. Good to see you. Hey, white rabbit object. Thanks again for your your hot your big dono. Uh, I will be posting either tonight or tomorrow. I'm I'm gonna go through all the. Uh, Kind of go through all the uh, the proceeds from the stream and make a donation to St. Vincent, so everybody knows I'm I'm good for it. It is really cool to think that you can just like chain pull yourself to an enemy and then like sw just whip out the chainsaw and slide them in half before you even hit the ground. Fuck! Wow! Ah, it's you cannot slow down. Damn, I really like that track when it starts kicking up, though. Fuck. Fuck. There we go. I wanted to... Is he dead yet? He's not. There we go. Fuck! No! That's not an imp! Hmm. Oh yeah, super gore nest. Skyscraper sized gore nest. I'm already dead. Fuck. No. Oh, I needed a, I needed I needed blood. Fuck. <laughs> Ooh. Everything takes just a little bit too long. Mm. Fuck. Shit. Dude! Meat hook can be a... Meat hook can be a double-edged sword. And not in a good way. Well, I guess no double-edged sword is in a good way. You can you can meat hook to a uh, to a mancubus and try and fuck him up, but if your timing is off, they'll do the ground pound and then you're really dicked. Okay. Whew. Sorry, I, I don't mean to. I'm not vocalizing all this stuff to make it sound like I'm some expert at the game. I, this is this is me sort of puzzling out the game's mechanics right now. So. I'm not trying to sound like a know-it-all. This is this is just me sort of exposing my uh, internal internal gamer monologue, if that makes any sense. Oh boy! Shit! God damn it. Are you still up here? What the fuck? I thought he was just staggered. Man. Uh. Shit. Something's gonna be behind me soon. Okay. What are we dealing with here? I don't think I had blood punch. No, I didn't. 
Ah, shit! Fuck, there's more of them. Still don't have it. Hey! Shit! No! <sighs> Jesus Christ! Missing shots. Okay. Oh. Shit. Luckily, I had enough fuel for that. Here in Arachnotron. Fuck! Oh. Fuck. Where'd you go? Shit, man. No, oh, there's another one. He shot it in mid-air! Looks like this might be it. Fuck me. Uh, how are you supposed to do that without dying? Good lord. Touch my face. Damn it. Drunk Eternal stream was incredible. You, Bruce, and Alana are an amazing team. Hope to see more from you three. Thanks for being a bright spot in a dark time. Well, travels in space and time. Thank you for resubbing. I had a really, really good time too. Mmm. Proto nuts. I was I was pretty fully clenched that whole time. Uh, started doing some like when you start doing like head motions to try and duck stuff. That's when that's when you know stuff's getting real. <sighs> that was fun though. Aurelius. Oh, thank you so much for gifting subs. Super kind of you, dude. Or lady. I'm, uh... <laughs> thank you, Bong Bopper. Yes, pay it forward. Pay it... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Pay it forward. Pay it forward, everybody. Um... Damn, that's fun, though. This match is not one yet. Come find me, Slayer. So I didn't... Yeah, leaning, leaning up. Uh, the gamer position. I, uh... I have to. I didn't use the. Oh, I'm missing a thing. But I gotta find the train to the Terror Dome. I guess there's. Yeah, there's. There's still this part. Uh. You can kind of. You can kind of see how like you really do start having to use every tool, uh, because if you're not using all your cooldowns, you're leaving damage on the table. Basically, you're not killing demons. 
and they overwhelm you if you're not constantly like shooting their guns off or removing their tools or thinning out their numbers. It's it is uh it's something, man. Where was the key in this level? It's um it's back in the room with the big big gentleman, this guy. So to get it though, you have to go under. So there's like this little grapple plate down here. So oh yeah, these two. So wherever this guy, you basically come up and punch him and knock him down. If you fall under, you can get to some sticky plates and basically like do some loopy loops, get your way to this guy, crawl up, and then get the key. Hopefully that is uh, illustrative enough. So basically you fall under where the giant demon thing gets knocked back onto. It's a large balance when using the appropriate weapon in the environment to come out on top and not die. Yeah, yeah. Using all of your, your movement abilities to, to just keep on the move and, and get distance from the swath of goddamn demons that just will not, will not stop. Damn, they're so fast. Yeah, getting that balance for sure. Oh, this fight. Already almost dead. Fuck. Uh. Damn it, Matt Carp. Thanks for the prime sub. I was like, I hate it when all the tiny boys are running away from you. I'm like, no, it's the opposite of what I want. Here. Okay. The wrong gun. Just used my uh, ice bomb. Fuck. If you can get enough targeted damage, you can take them out pretty quickly, but damn. They don't make it easy. Oh! Oh! Oh, haste. Oh, shit. Oh, overdrive. I guess is what it's called now. It's weird that they, uh... They didn't use the, like... Ugh. Damn! I don't know why I stood there like that. God, that was stupid. I should have backed up. Um, they called, uh... They called them by their Quake names in Doom 2016. Uh, quad damage and haste and shit like that. I guess they decided the branding was too confusing or something? I don't know. 
shit. Hey, what? I don't know why, uh, it's, it's tough for me to get a fix on how much life, um, certain enemies have in this game. I don't know what it is. Not mantle. All right. Oh, there you are. Oh, look. Shit! I'm stupid. Hey! Another one. Shit. Fuck. Shit. Shit, man. Fuck. Getting surrounded by a bunch of very mean things. Ah. Nope, not good. Not good. I don't go over there. Fuck. No, no. Oh, I wanted that health so bad. Where is it? Uh. No. Ah. Uh. Stuck on goddamn geometry, god. There is some health. Oh, he's already... Shit. <sighs> it's that risky-ass blood punch.
moving. I will lock in signal now. These fights are getting mean. This is only the third stage. <laughs> Hey, what's up, AK? Thanks for the thanks for the eight months of resubs. Uh, and Falcon 140. Sorry, I didn't did not uh, catch your your uh, prime sub the first time, but got through it. Um, I just man, I gotta hit my shots, man. You gotta. That's the thing. It's like when those fights get intense, your moments of opportunity get smaller and smaller. And I feel like one of the key things you ha I I have to get good at is nailing those shots when I've got them. So when I'm in the air, and I've got the gun out, I need to be picking off um, Incubus guns. I need to be picking off Revenant cannons. If I'm missing those shots, then I'm going to get overwhelmed. You have to keep pace. Um, but man. <laughs> I can't... I, I don't... I have to get so much better at this to even think about beating it without dying? Oh, the Archvile. So the Archviles are bad because they rage everything out, right? But I found that, like, combat-wise, they weren't the worst. They don't, at least they don't seem to do that, like... They don't do the line of sight fire that they used to do in Doom 2, which, thank God for that. Um, they just have so much health, which is aggravating. Oh, Marco Perini, this game is amazing. Yeah, uh, Valka Run, I would agree with that. The, there's a lot more effort and really just, like, really solid game design behind how uh, the combat systems work in Eternal over Doom 2016. Yeah, I'm playing on Nightmare Gravity Llama. At least I was. I'm, a, I'm about to actually stop and switch to uh, Animal Crossing. But Do extra lives work on Ultra Nightmare? They do not. Uh, there is a mode like that called Extra Lives Mode. Here, I'll show it to you in just a second here, actually. Thank God for all that Doom XP. Uh, yeah, no one-ups in, in Ultra Nightmare. Where the one-ups are uh, is armor. So it becomes full full armor. But uh, So there's Ultra Nightmare, which has no lives. Uh, there's Extra Life mode, which is uh, night... Oh, select your difficulty, then... Or select this mode, then your difficulty. So if you do Extra Life mode and then Nightmare, you're essentially doing Ultra Nightmare with lives, if that makes sense. Uh, so, I might do, like, extra life mode on Ultra Violence or something, just to kind of ramp up. We'll see. How'd you get that skin? This is for linking your profile, your Bethesda.net profile with Amazon. So, but yes, I've already started Animal Crossing, as you can see. There's my, there's my villager. Uh, hello, accomplished author. It has been a while. Nice to see you again. Welcome. The only thing I prefer about Old Doom are the level designs. Yes, there is definitely a different sort of sensibility about Eternal levels. They're much more focused on like serving the video game as opposed to trying to create environments. Uh, but yeah, have you seen the help background for the main menu? Looks amazing. Well, let me see. Um, I'm pretty sure you can set that. Yeah. Oh damn! Yeah, you weren't kidding. Damn, that does look cool. Wait. Oh, damn, that's pretty cool. Ooh. Okay. I appreciate uh, games that have, like, customizable main menus or screens or something like that. This game is actually super customizable. Um, you can change the, the color profile of the menu. Uh, change menu confirmation times. HUD. I mean, all the HUD stuff was in 2016 as well, which is pretty cool. Change the crosshairs. Even do, like, presets for all the HUD elements that can be turned on or off. Turn on or off all the notifications. Colorblind modes. Different kinds of colorblindness. Um, I appreciated this a lot. You can change the, like... Hit, hit effects, which is really cool. You can turn off the Slayer grunting, because that bothered some people. How does Extra Life game mode work when you select the difficulty? You can already find Extra Life just normally. You you go into Extra Life mode and then you pick your difficulty. The lives the lives are... The lives, the lives are in the same spot no matter what the difficulty is. So you're just setting the difficulty. Extra Lives mode means that when you run out of lives, you die. So you have to... It's basically like playing a classic video game, you know? 
change the subtitle font size, the background. Oh yeah, turn on classic weapons, which is pretty cool. Uh, okay, after enough deaths in a boss fight, the player can activate Sentinel Armor. Feature is not available in Ultra Nightmare or Extra Life mode. Well, I don't need that. No, thank you. Uh, you can turn off Screen Shake. I don't know. While a lot of this stuff isn't specifically for me, I, I really appreciate it. Well, well, there's my email, I guess. It's not like it was going to be hard to guess, so... No HUD Ultra Nightmare Run? Fuck no, dude. I'd be, I'd be so clenched. Jeez. Can I make the main menu font into Comic Sans? Well, I think Microsoft has the rights to Comic Sans, so maybe not. Ugh. Okay, guys. That'll do it for, for Doom Nightmare today. I'll definitely be back at this tomorrow and on through the months to come. I'm really excited to get good at this game, but I am not good yet. Uh, if you chose the easiest difficulty with extra lives mode, and then you run out of lives, you lose the game and have to start from the beginning. That's correct. Yes. Um, that's not the de <laughs> that's not the way the game normally works. Just want to be clear. There are, there are checkpoints. So, okay, I'm gonna take a quick break. Get up, stretch my legs, use the restroom, see check in on Stephanie Salza, and I'll be back to create my my uh, island paradise in um, in Animal Crossing. God, it's so cool. And I'll probably play that for a couple hours, and then we'll switch into. Uh, DJ Yowie hands will take the stage and uh, yeah, spin some fresh beats for you guys with this behemoth that came in yesterday. Did you get a new? Did you get a new chair? Oh. Fuck the next door, she says. Okay, uh, I'll be back with you guys in a second. Quick break. See you guys soon.